Call Out 4 is by far one of the most fun and buggy games from Bethesda. Over the years, players have taken advantage of those bugs and glitches to make things a little bit easier in the game and uh, straight up break things altogether. No faffing around, let's dive into some of the most useful Fallout 4 glitches that still work in 2024, from the least game breaking to the most. As you wake up from your little cryogenic nap in Fallout 4, you'll be tasked with escaping the vault. Along the way, you'll come across this little guy, the Cryolator. Not only is this an incredible weapon to get your hands on at the beginning of the game, but it's actually just as good when you get to late game content. To unlock this one without needing some nifty lock picking skills, you'll want to head to Red Rocket, just around the corner from Sanctuary and the vault itself. There you will find a dog named Dogmeat. He's such a good boy. Return to the vault with your new furry companion, not that kind of furry, get your head out of the gutter, and ask him to stand as close to the Cryolator as humanly possible. Ignore the fact that my character is butt naked and then ask Dogmeat to fetch nearby items. He'll have a sniff around and then grab the Cryolator for you. If he doesn't give you any ammunition, trade with him and he should have some in his inventory. Enjoy your new weapon that you've now got a head start on everything in the wasteland that wants to tear you to pieces. If you value your time and perk points in the wasteland, here's a little glitch to help boost your special perks, such as strength, intelligence, and charisma without needing a gym membership, getting your life in order, or investing a single perk unlocked by leveling up. Early in the game, you will find yourself in Sanctuary, your old pre-war hometown. If you return to your son Sean's bedroom, you'll find a special book on the floor. Grab that, put it in whatever perk you want, and then we're gonna need to duplicate it. You'll also need a pair of knuckles, which can be found on most raiders. If you don't already have a pair of these, continue through your story until you arrive in Concord and then very simply head to a weapon workbench and rename the knuckles to a lowercase x. When you're ready, press the scrap and modify buttons at exactly the same time and then release them with the scrap button coming ever so slightly afterwards. This will be a lot easier for my folks playing on the controller because you can literally press both buttons at the same time and then lift your finger up, letting go of the X button ever so slightly before square if you're using a PlayStation controller or a button before X if you're using an Xbox one. If all goes to plan, your special book will pop up on the weapon modification screen. Weird, right? Well, now it's time to select weapon mods and apply the bladed modification. You now have a book with blades on it. Congratulations, John Wick vibes. Head into your inventory and the knuckles will be gone, so I'm afraid X ain't gonna give it to you, but you will still have your special book in the miscellaneous tab, so drop it on the floor, press the scrap, store and back buttons simultaneously. Again, this will be a lot easier for my folks on controller as you can literally get your thumb and swipe left to right across all the buttons and it pretty much always works flawlessly. If you do everything right, you should see this little window pop up. Even if it disappears instantly, you should be good to go and you should also hear a bit of an audio cue. Select yes to store the book in the workshop and then you're pretty much done. Grab the book from the workshop, drop it on the ground and when you go to pick it up, you'll be able to select any special perk point to level up again. From here, if you want to keep leveling up again and again and again, all you have to do is put it back into workshop mode, perform another duplication glitch, which you've just done, take it out, drop it again, and you can just rinse and repeat this same process again and again until you've maxed out all of your special perk points and you can actually go over it giving yourself 11 or 12 points in charisma, but I wouldn't recommend it. Next up, if your settlements are getting a little bit full up in Fallout 4, perhaps you're even at the point where you're unable to place new items, there's a really simple and easy solution to this. Take any item from your inventory, weapons, armor, folders, etc., and drop them on the ground. Now, enter the workshop mode, hover over them, and then simply store them in your workbench storage. As you do this, your settlement size limit will be reduced, allowing you to continue growing your epic city, your underground vault, as much as you want. The same way you'll be helping the channel grow by tapping the subscribe button and becoming part of this awesome community. Or not. You know, I'm not your dad. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Ask your mother. Speaking of settlements, in Fallout 4, as you start creating more elaborate settlements, you'll notice that the biggest pain in the backside are electrical wires. You either can't get power inside of a building because there's a wall in the way, which means you have to do some really weird looking workarounds, or perhaps you're trying to attach a wire to something that's just too far away and you end up with a row of conduits and pylons and let's do a little glitch to fix all of that and make your life easier. 
Here is a pylon. Here is a wall. And here is another pylon. I want to connect both pylons, but a wall is in the way. It's bad. It's dumb. Silly wall. Come over to one of the pylons and connect it to literally anything else. Uh, a conduit in this case. You now have a pointless wire. Head back to the device that you want to attach through the wall and look exactly at the edge of the pre-existing pointless wire. Press the attach wire button, even if it doesn't show up on the interface. Now, walk around your wall and connect it to whatever device you like. Press the attach wire button again and boom, wall good now, not in the way. Good wall. Another really awesome benefit of doing this is that you can actually now make super long connections, longer than the connection you had with your father before he ran away. Look at the same spot that we spoke about a second ago, the one with the pointless wire, tap the button, run to another device that would typically be too far to reach, and then attach the wire. Voila. Looks a little bit dodgy because it goes through literally anything, even the floor, but you can now have infinite length as well as bypassing any object that would usually be in the way. Are you fed up of being over-encumbered in Fallout 4? Are you also fed up of your companion being over-encumbered? Well, there's nothing I can do about you, but here's a glitch to help them carry all of your burdens and bypass the weight limit. This one is actually super easy. It's just not obvious and you wouldn't realize it unless you heard a sexy British man explain it to you in a video. Very simply, grab yourself a companion, which is hard for us antisocial nerdy gamers, but you know, do it, and then drop anything that weighs you down. Weapons, power, armor, daunting, overwhelming pressure of life and all of your insecurities. And now, get your companion window up. If you don't know how to do this, just hold down the talk button. You can instruct your companion to pick up any item with any weight. Even if your companion's weight limit is already maxed out, they'll still pick it up and be there for you. How cute. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, so we're now exiting the fun, helpful glitches in the game and approaching, screw it, this game takes ages, let's break everything and speed it up territory. So here's how you duplicate all of the resources in Fallout 4, giving yourself pretty much unlimited supply of anything and everything you're gonna need throughout your whole playthrough. From settlement building, upgrading your weapons and armor, and even being able to get anything you want from traders for free. Head to your favorite settlement and make sure that you have the resource that you want to duplicate, obviously. Now, grab that resource. In my case, I'm using asbestos. It's my favorite midday snack. Drop it on the ground and then enter workshop mode. From here, you're going to want to perform the duplication glitch. And if you skipped the part of the video earlier on where I explained how to do it, you're ruining my watch time in the video. How dare you? But I will explain it again. Press the store and the scrap button at the exact same time, releasing them with the scrap button coming ever so slightly slower. If you're using a controller, this is super easy. Just swipe from left to right using your thumb over the square X and circle buttons on PlayStation or the X, A and then B on Xbox. When done correctly, you'll see both of these windows overlapping each other. Select scrap and then store. And just like that, you've duplicated your resource. Take it back out, do it again and again and again until you have a decent amount. I've got about a thousand of every resource in the game and anytime I'm running low, simply do the glitch one more time and you will pretty much replenish your supply. Plus, you can then link your settlements together with supply lines and all of your materials will be synced across all of your settlements, vaults, towns, so you only really need to do this once. Another bonus tip is to do this with nuclear material, get yourself a spare 10, 20 thousand, and then use the follower glitch mentioned earlier in the video, getting them to pick it up once it's dropped on the ground. This way, anytime you see an incredibly expensive item at the shop or there's something you want, maybe you don't have the caps, you can simply withdraw whatever you need from your companion and use that to pay for your brand new gear. This one is a little bit more niche, but it could be handy. If you want to duplicate a specific weapon, armor piece, or whatever, and to keep the legendary abilities on the items, hop into workshop mode and go to power, manufacturing, and then miscellaneous. Scroll over to the conveyor storage and pop it down somewhere. To make your life a little bit easier, extend the conveyor with a conveyor belt too. Now, the actual method of this glitch is super simple. You just place an item that you want to duplicate on the conveyor belt, and just as the conveyor storage picks it up, you pick it up at the same time, therefore creating two versions of the same item. The timing is incredibly tricky, much harder than the duplication glitch with resources, but once you get it down, it's it's still tricky, but it gets a little bit easier. Just keep trying, even if it seems like it isn't happening, because it is possible. You can actually follow this little tutorial that is on screen now, and it's way too long-winded to explain on a voiceover, but you can actually build yourself a looping system with conveyor belts that brings the item 
item back to you so that you don't have to keep running back and dropping the item. It's super lazy, but it might help someone, so you're welcome and good luck. If you're looking for easy money in Fallout 4, there's a really easy glitch that can get you there. I recommend getting rank 2 in the Cap Collector perk, as well as rank 2 in the Local Leader, to make this method go a lot quicker. But essentially, all you need to make this glitch work is a store found in your workshop menu. Place your shop and simply press the store and the scrap button at the same time, with the scrap button coming ever so slightly slower. If you're using controller, this again is super simple, just swipe from left to right over the square X and circle buttons on PlayStation station or the X, A and B on Xbox. If you've heard me say this multiple times in the video, I'm sorry, but people love using chapters and skipping ahead. How dare you? Pay me back by dropping a like on the video. Scrapping the highest tier shop only yields a couple hundred caps at a time, but this is super quick and easy to repeat and doesn't cost you a thing after the initial shop has been placed. Go treat yourself with some retail therapy. Now, we're going to wrap the video up with a bang. For my final trick, the video ends here. <laughs> okay, stop messing around. Here's a super easy glitch to get crazy fast experience and levels in Fallout 4. You will need the Automatron DLC though. Start off by heading to a settlement that you don't really use with a companion. Clear out all of the junk from your inventory and the workshop storage and then build yourself a robot workbench. Select a new Automatron and stick an Assault Tron torso on the bot and you'll be ready to go. Now, talk with your companion and initiate a trade. In the time that they say something along the lines of I'm sworn to carry your burdens, shuffle over to the robot workbench and you'll be able to see both windows overlaid on top of each other. Looks kind of cool. Go onto the torso and spam the attach mod button on pretty much anything. The game thinks that you're constantly making new parts for your bot, but what you're actually doing is merely giving your items to your follower from your inventory. So you'll receive a bunch of experience leveling up ridiculously fast, and then when you're finished, simply trade with your companion and get all of your stuff back. Easy peasy, tap the subscribe button, pleasey. That's all for now. It's worth noting that there are a couple of glitches that I didn't cover on this list, such as adding random weapon mods and other effects to weapons, but I couldn't get them to work personally, so I didn't want to include them in this video as they simply may be outdated. But of course, feel free to look around online for some other tutorials. I love your faces. I hope to catch you in a future video or live stream here on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one.